One of the best things about Relink is unlocking the characters. There's a ton of variety, so picking the right one can be difficult. For example, do you want to pick the very cool Narmea, the powerful Siegfried, or the destroyer from ranged with Eugen? Well, here we're going to show you how you can unlock more of these characters so you can ease off with the FOMO a bit and have your dream roster of characters. We also hope you guys are enjoying the game and having a blast, but we'd love to know which characters are you unlocking first and why. It actually turns out that unlocking new characters is super easy and in order to unlock them you will need to get a crewmate card and these can then be exchanged to unlock one new character. The thing is you can earn these crewmate cards from playing the main story, completing different quests and ranking up in difficulty once you start hitting the end game content. Something really useful to know is when exactly you earn these new crewmate cards as you progress through the story as then you can unlock some of your favorite characters even earlier on. You will get one crewmate card unlocked after completing various chapters in the story. For example, you get one after chapter 3, after chapter 6, and after chapter 9. But in addition to this, there are several quests that you can complete to earn an additional ticket. So keep an eye out for these quests. The Saga Grande The Beginning, The Saga Continues Ice, Wings of Antiquity, No One Likes Leftovers, and Hide and Sheik. In addition to these various sources, you also have daily quests that can be done in order to get Dahlia badges that can then be traded in the Knickknack Shack to get an extra ticket. In order to get these badges, you need to complete quick quests, which will put you in a random quest at a random difficulty, and at the end of it, you will earn those Dahlia badges, which you can then trade three of them to get an extra crewmate ticket. It's important to note that after you beat the game and during the end game content, you will continue to earn tickets every time you rank up to a new difficulty level, which does take a little while longer than the story ones, so you want to pick and choose your characters wisely. One thing that we really wanted to know and confirm is if there's enough tickets in the game to unlock every character for you, and we can gladly tell you that you do get enough tickets to unlock everyone eventually, but because some of these tickets come from the new difficulty ranks after beating the story, your earlier characters that you unlock are going to be more impactful for you as you play through the game. On top of this, you will still need to invest time into these characters to level them up, increase their weapon, their masteries, and so on. It is helpful to know that when unlocking characters, you can actually see the full roster of characters as well as a preview of each of their abilities and their combos on each tab to help you make a choice on which one is for you. So make sure to check out each of their abilities as well as their preview video to see if that character fits well into your team or your personal playstyle. When unlocking a new character, you can immediately go into the practice mode and learn the ropes for them, as well as getting these awesome character intros, which really does make you feel like you made the right choice. However, there's an additional tip that you will want to know about that could save you a ton of time grinding. The further and higher level that you get to as you progress through the different chapters in the story will impact the character's level that they will be at once you unlock them, and you can actually see this in the crewmate screen. Now, this isn't too bad if we're just talking about their actual level and the experience points that they come with, but these higher level characters also come with fully completed mastery trees up until that level. So this means you don't need to waste any time or resources farming out mastery points and XP to level them up to that point. So we actually suggest unlocking only a couple of characters early on that you really like and want to play through the campaign with, and then holding on to some of your extra tickets until you are in the extreme difficulty, as this is where you're able to unlock characters at their maximum potential, and thus getting the most bang out of your buck without having to manually upgrade each of these characters to a usable point. We would say don't worry too much about the characters unlocked early on, as you can still boost them with XP consumable items like spellbooks, and there are also other items that give mastery points too, so you can quickly catch them up if need be. If you want some suggestions on which characters you should pick up to put into your team, then Cagliostro is a pretty great support character to have as an actual NPC ally, simply because she has a bunch of buffs that raise your damage and crit, but is also one of the rare characters that actually has a ranged AoE revive skill, which will be a massive help if you're struggling. Hopefully these different tips help you out and point you in the right direction, and do tell us which characters you've unlocked so far and which ones you're enjoying. Make sure you're subscribed because we're going to have more Grand Blue Fantasy Relink content coming your way soon.